Hello Cancer and welcome to your reading. Cancer, we're going to see what messages I hear for you in this reading. I always want to remind you to have a look at your sun sign, your moon sign and your ascendant sign because by doing that you get a much fuller picture of the energies that you are working with. And also to remember that these readings are generalized so take what resonates with you, leave what doesn't because that will resonate with someone else who's watching this reading. Cancer also have another channel which is all to do with love and matters of the heart. So if you'd like to see more of my work, I'm going to link the channel in the description box below. I'm just going to get your cards for you. Bear with me just one second, just get a tarot card for you as well. So Cancer, remember to, have a, to like, comment and subscribe to the channel because I appreciate the energy exchange. So these are the cards that we have. I can see that you have a new start that is on the cards. You have wonderful energies that are here, Cancer. I really like these energies. But before we get to the meat and the, and the exciting parts, you have to go through that moment in time where you are, you know, where you are cleansing, releasing, letting go. You have to go through that part which is annoying because we have that major arcana card of the judgment and the judgment card is saying that you've got good energies that are here. You've got a new chapter that is starting. Life is good, but where you are going, you need to go there light. You need to travel light. So now look at your life. Look at the people in your life. Look at the situations in your life. Some of them do not belong in your future. And now is the perfect time to be in that energy of analyzing, looking at what doesn't serve you anymore and then being brave enough to release it, to let it go. Because whatever is happening, I feel that there is an energy of the four of cups, right? And the energy of the four of cups, you have that new beginning that is here. The divine is coming in and gifting you so much goodness, so much abundance and joy and whatever it is that you have been wishing for. But for some reason, whatever you're receiving may not look like how you had anticipated. Okay. And you could be rejecting something amazing. You could be rejecting this new start because you are having that energy where you're like, mm, I was expecting X, Y, Z. And the divine is saying that if you're being offered anything right now, take a moment to have a look at it because you could be missing out on something because there is an energy where you're just feeling a little bit disheartened about what it is that you're being offered. But this could be a stepping stone into something that turns out to be really, really good. Why do I say that? Because you have the Oracle card that is blooming and blooming is coming in to say you are just getting started so have patience with yourself and the process and do not give up so let's say for instance because i always like to paint a picture so that it's easy to understand the messages that are here so for instance let's say you went and you applied for a job and the job that you applied for was paying really well and the company comes back and says to you hey you know, we really like you, we like everything about you, but that job, that position no longer exists or someone else has taken that position, but we feel that you are perfect for this. But this offer that is coming in doesn't pay as much. Maybe the hours are not as good. But the thing is, if you turn around and accept that offer, the new employee could see that, wow, you are freaking incredible. And they could actually end up offering you more money and a better position than the one you had originally applied for. So we have that rainbow. We have that promise that is here. So sometimes you just need to look at the opportunity that is being offered and how you can use that as a stepping stone. That was just an example that popped into my head. So I just really wanted to give you like a gist of what could be on the cards and then you know your life and what is currently going on because like I said nothing is yet set in stone because we have our card that is coming in and really emphasizing that nothing is yet set in stone so like I said this employee comes back we love you we think you're awesome but the thing is we can't afford to pay you that much we can't do this or can't do that can we change things you are being asked 
to be flexible because by being flexible, you're going to see that things are going to actually work out in your favor. Remember, you are blooming. And not only that, a new start is coming. So a new chapter is coming. There is new energies that are here. And these energies are bringing that energy of expansion. They're bringing that energy of growth. So how can you look at whatever you're being offered? How can you look that and release and surrender that judgment that you have, that disappointment that you have? That could be something that you need to release and surrender because you could be missing out on something that is actually really incredible. So I see you here looking at your situation, asking the hard questions and then looking and seeing again and again from different angles, from this angle, from that angle, from that angle. And then you are then able to make a choice because what you are releasing could be that disappointment. What you're releasing is like, you know, divine, this is not what I was expecting, but I know that you are going to ma work your magic. I know that you had my prayers and you have answered my prayers, not in the way that I was expecting, to be honest and to be frank with you, Divine. I'm a little bit disappointed. But I know that you can see things from a higher perspective. You can see things from different angles. Maybe I'm not seeing something right now. So I'm releasing this disappointment and I've said my prayers. I've really spoken to you about what it is that I need. And I'm just going to go with the energy of trust. I am trusting you, divine. I am trusting you, divine, with the new chapter and the new start that is on the cards for me. Because I know that nothing is yet set in stone. So whatever it is that I'm being offered right now, I know that something better is coming from that. This is a stepping stone that is here. So the divine is saying that the divine understands that you could just be feeling disappointed. Of course, I understand that. Again, your situation is different, but I hope that you have the discernment to understand what I'm trying to say and apply it in your situation. So whatever the disappointment that you might be feeling, the divine is saying it is a time to just be in that energy of purification. You know, when you release and let go of something, sometimes you just need to go and shower. Sometimes you just need to go and bath. Sometimes you just need to go and have that spiritual bath. Sometimes you even need to just cleanse your home of the disappointment, of this energy that is here, of this stagnant energy that is here, that needs to be cleansed. And by cleansing, you're saying, all right, divine, I have really cleared out everything. I have left um, space for new things to enter. And I've said my prayers. And I know my prayers are being answered. And now I am here, understanding that you are gifting me something that is going to be incredible. Even though I wasn't expecting it to come this way, I know it's going to be incredible. So you're cleansing yourself. You're purifying yourself away from the energy of being disappointed. So our card is saying that it is time for a cleansing detoxification of your body and your mind also. So Cancer, as you're cleansing, as you're doing all that, the divine really wants you to understand that is, you're sitting here looking at the offer that is coming in, looking at your situation, looking at the changes that are coming in. How can you start harnessing your mystical powers, your intuition? Cancer, you are a water sign, which means that you're, intu you're intuitive, right? How can you harness your intuition to see how this offer, how this new beginning, how this new chapter can actually end up working for your greatest good. You're also going to be using your intuition because you're using the energy of the high priestess. And as you're using the energy of the intuition, this is also going to be guiding you to make the right decisions. You're accepting something, you're disappointed, that's okay. But then along the way, you're making the right decisions to use whatever came in as a stepping stone to something that you're going to look back in the future and be really happy about. So again, you're being asked, Cancer, to shift your perception. All right. I know your mind might be already made up about something, but the divine is asking you here to have that energy of air. Air penetrates anything. And having that air energy is really lifting you up so that you can have that higher perspective around your situation. So this card is saying shift your perception. And we're seeing that here, it looks like 
in our tarot card, your mind has already been made up. All right. And this is why you could be feeling disappointed. This is why you could be rejecting this offer that is coming in because you are looking over here. How can you shift your perception and look at what is coming in? How can you shift your perception and start looking at whatever is arriving this new chapter in different ways? And then you could be seeing that, oh my God, I was missing something. I can create something better. I can do this. I can do that. I never thought of it from that angle before because now you are looking in a different way, in a different vibration. Here you're in a vibration of disappointment. When you shift your perception, you're in a vibration of excitement, full of vibrancy, full of appreciation, full of joy. And this is when you can start wrapping Actually, no, this is when you can start unwrapping this gift that is coming in and you're going to see that this gift is going to pay you time and time and time again. This gift is leading you to meet people who are going to introduce you to someone else, who are going to introduce you to this circumstance, who are going to do this, this, this and that for you. And this situation is unfolding in a beautiful way that when you look back a year from now, you're going to be thankful that you landed on this reading. So this is the reading that I have for you, Cancer. Don't forget again to give that energy exchange by liking this video, by commenting, by subscribing, and I'm going to see you in my next video. And for now, it's a goodbye, Cancer. I wish you all the luck in the world. Bye.